Hey, what's going on YouTube? And welcome back to part two of our eight segment series on legendary weapons. This time we're going to be going through assault rifles. To, to start off we have the Varuk. And as you can see it's a times three assault rifle. I want that rifle, daddy. Interesting little flavor text. And the Varuk basically has a bullet type spread. In a single fire you can see how we have three distinct bullet patterns going out and it's fully automatic as well and when scoped in we have the same series of bullets but it will fire in a burst fire type pattern so let's see I mean with the times three yeah so we're going through ten shots but I mean hey you know if you're a commander look at that's some just clear everything looks like fun doesn't it moving on to our next gun we have the shredifier one of my personal favorites as you can guess, the flavor text speed kills. It's going to refer to the ridiculous speed that this gun can shoot by. And as you can see from the barrel speed spinning up, this gets to the point where it's just absolutely ridiculous. This is honestly one of my favorite guns. I'm leveling a Gunzerker solely for the purpose to be able to do a wheel two of these and just mow through things. I think it would be extremely entertaining. But that is the Shredifier. Moving on, we have the Slippery Curb Blaster, and this is an interesting one because the Curb Blaster, basically it's going to fire out a grenade that's going to end up uh, exploding and then making another grenade. So, in a sense, it's like a, uh, I don't know if you're going to say it fires a grenade. I guess it does fire a grenade, but you can see we're firing these little bombs and then there's more bombs going off, but just to give you an idea of uh, in a closed environment, you can see we have one, and then it's going to bounce around and make a second explosion. So, if you love explosions, the Curb Blaster is definitely the gun for you. Look at this, just booms going on everywhere. Moving on to the fourth gun, we have the Tactical Madhouse. Well, they're not all tactical, mine just happens to be, but the Madhouse. And as you can see, it has a very large magazine size, but that's not the only thing fun about this gun. When you fire its bullets, they are going to split into two and then bounce around, and the bullets will become faster with each and every bounce. So, we'll give you a. Let's shoot something out here with it. And as you can see, they're like. They have actually a bit of a serpentine pattern when fired, but this isn't really the best gun for an outdoor environment. So, we're going to walk inside real fast just to give you a better idea of what the, what the madhouse can really do. So, I mean, this is a great weapon to have when you're in those, like, cl close quarters with the bandits. You know, when you're going to, I don't know, say Rescue Borland or anything else, you can really start to see this thing ramp up. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Just And that, uh, well, that's why it's called the Madhouse. And moving on to our final rifle, we have the Hammer Buster. Now, my Hammer Buster is unfortunately only level 48. So it's not going to be the best showcase of the uh, real power of it. And uh, the Hammer Buster, I'm not really a giant fan of. Um, obviously, the damage doesn't seem that high compared to some of the other weapons. But the high point of the Hammer Buster is that, in general, it has a very high damage rate. And uh, in a sense, you could think of it as a um, basically a sniper rifle variant of an assault rifle. I mean, you see we have 93 accuracy, 14 284. So it's fairly accurate. And similar to a Jacobs, it's as fast as you can shoot it. But aside from that, nothing really all that spectacular on that one. But that concludes our segment on assault rifles. So we'll see you guys again shortly. And next up in the lineup, we are going to be going over shotguns. So tune in next.